Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you how I achieved getting a bachelor's degree from Western Governors University's Teachers College in less than six months. So let's get into it. So first off, I do want to say I did have um, an associate's degree in business administration before I started at WGU. However, not a lot of it transferred, so I did still have to do 23 classes um, in order to get the degree I got. Also, I've had a lot of people on Facebook groups ask me this. No, I did not do student teaching. I did the non-licensure program, which you cannot go into at WGU. You have to go into another program that is licensed and then have a valid reason for not doing student teaching and they will change you into this one. It is called the Bachelor's of Arts in Educational Studies and then it's focused in what your major was, which mine was um, elementary education. So mine was a Bachelor's of Arts in Educational Studies in Elementary Education. So I had to do 23 classes um, and I finished them all in about 20 weeks, I believe. So I have 10 tips and tricks for you that I used that you can use to accelerate at WGU. Number one is, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at my planner book thing, but number one is make a verbal, a written, and a public commitment. So what I mean by that is you need to look at yourself and be like in the mirror and be like, we're doing this in this amount of time. I'm getting it done in this. You need to write it down. I have so many um, like plans written down in my um, journal and my planner about when I was going to get things done, how I was going to accelerate and all that. So you need to do that as well as you need to make a public commitment. You need to tell your mentor what your goals are so she or he can help you meet those. You need to tell your parents, friends, grandparents, whoever is your support group, you need to let them know. and you need to have some form of public accountability I'm not gonna lie having this channel and going through it with this channel i was like oh i really need to get a video uploaded this week but i'm not at my goal but i told them i was going to be so i need to get there and that's honestly this channel is one of the main things that pushed me and how i um accelerated so fast and one of the things that drove me number two is make a visual progress board which I talked about in my first video or my second video that I did on WGU, which essentially is a huge poster board. And I had it split into three columns and it, one of them was classes to do, classes in progress, classes completed. And I had um, note cards that I taped on to each individual thing and I moved them as I was going through them. And we moved in the middle of me doing my WGU journey, so I actually ended up getting thrown away in the process, but each time I started a new class, I would put it in the progress, and whenever I completed it, I put it over in there, and it was a great way to visualize my progress, because sometimes you can get so stuck in, I feel like I'm going nowhere, I know I'm finishing classes, but it's just not getting anywhere, so it doesn't matter if I don't um, keep going forward, it doesn't, like, my progress means nothing, but when you see it visually, like, laid out before you, it can motivate you so much and like kind of give you that boost of wait i did all of that already i only have that little to go awesome i can keep going or it'll be oh a wake-up call i've not done enough i'm not where i need to be i need to step it up so definitely you need to have some kind of visual progress um board you can do it i've Again, join the Facebook groups because they're so amazing. But um, it's actually where I got the idea for this. But I've seen other people do like a piece of paper, and it's like I see one person. It was like a it was like bee themed, and it was like a little honeycomb, and they colored in each one for each class as they went through. Um, some people do the sticky notes, some people do post-it notes. Um, just whatever you want to do. Some people do like chain link things, like you know, like take off each one like countdown kind of deal um you need to have some kind of visual progress so yeah that's that's my second tip um number three is stay consistent now when i say this i don't mean um you have to do the same exact amount of classes every single week 
because obviously if you watch my videos, I did not do that. However, you do not need to do what I did, which was for like two weeks and not do anything or do five minutes of work and be like, mm, I'm done. I'm not gonna look at that for another, you know, three days. Because honestly, when you're not consistent in a class, you get lost. I remember I started a couple papers, didn't look at them for a week, went back to them, had no idea what it was, had to start completely over, had no idea what my train of thought was. Um, I didn't remember the plans I had for the paper, so like it didn't all um, work together. So I had to totally scrap it and redo it. So you need to stay consistent because not only will it help you prog like um, accelerate faster, but it will also just help you stay in a more sane state of mind and help you um, form more coherent thoughts and papers and in studying, it will help you retain more information if you're constantly giving, um, like taking in information instead of just taking in five minutes of studying one day and then a week later, the day before your test, try to fit in an entire class or course worth of information. Because a lot of my classes that I did have exams on, I did study it in one day, um, but some that I didn't know, I had to do a couple days. So. Um, yeah, you need to be consistent because without consistency, you're gonna fall off at one point and you're not gonna be able to get back up. So, consistency. Now, number four is gonna be kind of <laughs> hypocritical after the second one, or I mean the one right before this, but that is know when to take breaks. If you have an assignment that you've been working on for like four hours straight, no, you need to take a break. You're gonna be burnt out and that, that work is not gonna be good you're gonna get it sent back for so many revisions, you need to take a break. If you find yourself looking at the screen and crying because you do not understand what in the world this part of the constitution means or what in the world this person did in this court trial on this date, take a break. If you're crying over a class, I don't care how close your deadline is, your personal deadline, Take a break, take five minutes, take 20 minutes, go take a bubble bath, go get some ice cream, take a break. No class, no degree, and no job is worth you losing your sanity. That, that, that's it, that's it, that's all I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> so my fifth little tip is to set both realistic and unrealistic goals. I know people say, oh, don't, you know, you're gonna be disappointed if you don't meet your goals. Great, honestly, for me, that was great. I had realistic goals that I set with my mentor. Um, when we first set up my degree plan, it was a three year long degree and I knew that's not what I wanted, so we set that up with her, but I also had in the back of my mind, I'm doing this in six months. We're doing it in six months. Um, she was like, oh, okay, you know, try to get this one class done in a week. And I was like, I wanna do it in two days. I got it done in one day. So those unrealistic goals really do push you. Um, and like I had some goals that I set that were unrealistic that I did not meet. Like um, I wanted to do two classes a week and be done in honestly three months. Did that happen? No, it did not. However, I got um, my long-term goal of completing in less than six months. I got that, so. Um, also when I, I don't know about you, you might, you know, if you have anxiety or um, if you get stressed very easily, this might not be a good tip for you. But for me it was, if I do not meet a goal, I beat myself up so much about it that I will complete it literally five minutes after my deadline for that goal has been met. I'm like, oh my word, I didn't meet this. I have to do it right now. And it's just a good motivator. So those unrealistic goals, even if you can't meet them and you know you can't meet them, you're gonna be able to meet, like you're gonna be able to do it a little faster maybe. So instead of saying, oh, I'm gonna complete, you could say, oh, I'm gonna complete this class by tonight. And you might, it might be physically or mentally impossible for you to complete it that night. But with all that pressure, you're probably gonna complete it by the next day or the next day, which is a lot faster than like the one week long timeline that you and your mentor set or month long timeline that you and your mentor set, whatever it was. So you need an unrealistic goal and then you need a realistic goal to like balance each other out and just 
all this is just about pushing yourself so hard to where you stress out enough to just get it done. So yeah, that's that. I don't know if that made any sense, but. So my sixth tip is you need to research each individual class and course before you open it. Before you read your course instructor welcome email, which half of those I didn't even get uh, while I was still in the class because they wait like two days to send them out and a lot of times I was done with the classes by then. But before you read that, you need to go look it up. And I mean, what I mean by look it up, I mean, go Google it and it'll come up with a bunch of Reddit reviews of it. Click on them, read what people said about them. Um, just Google it in general and you can like find information on it. And then Facebook groups, Facebook group, look in your Facebook group at the top, there's a little search bar, search it, put in the class code or the class name. You have all the information you need to succeed right there. People have asked questions and answered them. And then also people have just been like, oh, I just passed this class. It was so easy. Here are some tips on how I passed it. So amazing. Um, there were so many classes that just off of that, I could complete a class without even ever reading any instruction from my instructor or even looking really at any of the prompts on the um, test slash papers. Like obviously I looked at it to make sure, you know, I understood it, but um, like a lot of this stuff is course specific. So most teachers don't want fluff, but some of them do want fluff, like a very select few, but some of them. So a lot of times on like the Facebook group chats, they'll be like, oh, the paper was super easy. Answer each question with one sentence and you're good. And then sometimes you'll be like, hey, just a warning, this class is a little harder. It's a little more in depth. Pay more attention to this sub, this like part of the paper and you're good. Hey, the test, the exam for this one was really heavy on this subject. Make sure you like um, pay more attention to that subject or that, um, content area so stuff like that you can find in the Facebook groups and um, look up the courses know what to expect before you get into them so that whenever you do get into them you can breeze right through them my seventh tip is support others in your classes now this does not mean like I don't think I ever talked to someone in an actual class that I was in what I did is I went to the Facebook groups and I would read what other people had questions asking and I would respond to them because chances are if you respond to their question, whenever you have a question in the future, they're going to respond to you and be able to help you as well as whenever you encourage them, oh, you're like, they said, say, oh, I met this school. You say, oh my word, you're doing so great. Um, so proud of you. They're going to come back and say, thank you so much. You got this. You're going to meet your goals too. And that is so sweet and I loved that part of WGU's Facebook groups everyone was so supportive as well as on this YouTube channel I've had a lot a lot a lot of people supporting me down in the comments but also I've had a lot of you asking questions and I've been able to you know help you and support you and be like oh hey yeah you can meet your goals oh hey yeah you had a question about this class this is what I think about it and I'll say that really like we're going to a teacher's college. That's what we're doing is teaching each other and helping. Like we're going to college to teach children, to help children. And it's not just about giving them tons and tons of information. It's also about like forming that emotional connection with them and realizing, and like, it's like that in your heart that, oh, I'm helping someone. I am like, whenever I think about teaching, I'm like, I am helping form these children so that they are ready to meet the world. They are ready to enter society. They can grow up and get a job and flourish. And whenever you're helping someone in one of your classes in that aspect, it really helps you to be like, this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna do this and it motivates you to keep going. So yes, support each other. Number nine is kind of the same as the last two, but it's stay connected. Now, this does not just mean in Facebook groups and on YouTube if you want to like comment on people's videos or um, like start video making yourself. This also means to your mentor, stay connected. I would say um, make sure that you have someone to be accountable to in your household and make sure to let them know at least weekly, hey, this is where I'm at. I'm feeling great. My mom asked me probably every other day, 
how's this class going? And I'd be like, oh, I'm finished with that one. I'm in this one now. She'd be like, okay, cool. A couple days later, how's that class going? Oh, I'm still in it. It's a little hard. And she'd be like, okay, are you going to still meet your goals? And I was like, eh. She's like, you need to get on it. So you need to stay connected. My mentor, amazing. I loved having my calls with her. I never missed a call. And I can say that was one of the, the big things with her was not missing calls and showing that you were committed because because of that she even told me in a call one time um because i am so consistent and she can trust me to keep in contact and make sure i meet all of our like meetings and i think one time we had to reschedule it but we made sure to you know communicate about it so it didn't count against me or anything but and i didn't miss it i like let her know ahead of time or something like that but um because of that trust that we built, she was like, okay, I'm gonna add two classes at a time instead of one, or I'm gonna add three classes this week because you're going at a faster rate right now. So that really helped me to accelerate and it can help you to accelerate because it's like, if they have trust in you, they're gonna, you know, um, trust you with more classes and um, trust your judgment more on when to add classes and what classes to add. My 10th little tip is remember your reason. I know my reason for wanting to teach is, um, and for going to colleges, I want to teach children because whenever I was like 10, I started helping out in Sunday school at church. And I just, whenever I'm helping kids or teaching them something, I just feel so complete. And it makes me, it makes me feel good inside. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good because in a world that's so horrible, you know, being able to do like a little good, it just, it goes a long way in your heart. So that's my why. It's also my why because I remember in one, te I had a couple teachers in elementary school in first, sec first and second grade were like my pivotal years. Um, first grade, half of the year I was homeschooled. Second half I went back to um, public school and my teacher was so inviting. She made sure that I was connecting with my class. She made sure that I felt secure. My um, second grade teacher, she actually did a split class. So half of the students in the class were third grade, half were in second grade. And then once a week, I went to this thing called Ignite, which was a um, like gifted and talented class. So like I would go to a different school um, to do like, I remember like one year, it was like every week we studied different like codings that were used in like World War II. And like I learned Braille, I learned Morse code, I learned Pig Pen. I don't remember any of them now, um, really. But I learned all those. One time it was um, like art. So we learned different art forms, different um, artists, um, and different sculptors and stuff like that. Then one time it was like about the brain. And at the very end, we had dissected a lamb brain. Um, but I just remember my, um, even though I did that outside of my school, um, it was like on Tuesdays or Thursdays, I like went on a bus. A bus picked me up and took me to like another school. But I remember like, my teachers were always so accommodating and I would come I would come in for the school day on those days and I can remember one teacher, I'm not gonna say her name, but I'm thinking about her. Um I would come in, she'd be like, Oh, it's a big day and I'd be like, Yeah, and she'd be like, Are you excited? And I'd be like, Yeah and she'd make sure I got, you know, to my bus when I needed to and whenever I got back in class, um, she was she always made a point to come up to me and be like, What'd you learn today? Did you like it? Oh yeah, I loved it. it. Was this this this? She'd be like, "Okay, cool, awesome. That that you know that's great. Here's what you missed today in our class." And she always made sure I was caught up, and she just made me feel like loved. And I want you know to be that for someone. Like if I only am I, if I'm only that for one kid in say 40 years of teaching, then that's enough. So that's my why. So you need to remember your why. So whenever you are thinking, I don't want to do this anymore this is too hard, I can't do this. You need to think there's gonna be one kid that in 20, 30 years is gonna look back and say, oh, I remember Mr. or Mrs. so-and-so when whatever grade, they really impacted my life, they changed me. I was in such a horrible, dark place, but they held my hand through it all and I, I am so thankful for them. They helped make me who I am today. So that's my why. You need to find your why and use it to push you. So that is my 
10 tips and tricks of how I succeeded at WGU and completed 23 classes in about 20 weeks and have earned my bachelor's degree in less than six months. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the content that will be coming soon.